Um, I am up. I was just tidying up my kitchen a little bit and kind of putzing around. I have my coffee here. Um, last night, I gave Laniege sleeping mask another try, FYI. If you're new here, I was uh, sent this by the kind folks at BB Sesh. Um, and I, I feel badly when these things go on you. So I tried it again last night and <clears throat> I don't know, do I look any brighter? Uh, I don't think it's a phenomenal product, like I said before, and it is so heavily fragranced. I mean, I think that's part of what they're trying to sell you here, actually, is that the fragrance is supposed to be sleep-inducing, but it, yeah, it smells, do you know what it smells like? Um, not everybody will, will know this, maybe most of you will. When you get a Barbie doll, at least back in the, you know, 80s 90s what have you when you when you get a new Barbie doll and you took it out of the box the way the Barbie doll's hair smells that is exactly what the Lania sleeping mask smells like like new Barbie hair or at least what it did once upon a time I have no idea I haven't sniffed Barbie's hair in quite some time um, but yeah so while it's heavily fragranced I slapped this on my face last night um, before going to bed um, after I'd done my normal nighttime skincare routine and I left it on there, which is not a great idea because of all the fragrance on here, but that's how you're supposed to use it. So I kind of sucked it up and just slept with it and I really didn't hate it. Um, and I don't know, it did seem pretty moisturizing. So I think I'll use it here and there, but I would not recommend this one. I do kind of want to try the lip one. I tried putting this on my lips and it was horrible so don't do that this is so fragrant that it's like oh it's awful it's like uh, yeah like eating a barbie head so i would not do that um but anyways i thought i would just update you on that but i am rocking that shiseido sanka yet again that is a fantastic sunscreen guys i am just totally loving that one my mom is going to come over i think a little bit later i'm not entirely sure she's got a meeting this morning that she's going to um, so I'm just kind of putzing around, taking care of some things, and our um, mail has finally gotten back into sort of the swing of things, and I guess my um, apartment office complex got inundated by <clears throat> mail carriers delivering packages yesterday, and I, so I, I think I have some packages, uh, perhaps my vlogging Perhaps my new tripod is here, I'm not entirely sure. But I went to my P.O. box again yesterday, and you guys, I have to open this for you guys. I got, I got a care package from one of you guys, and I did open it up, but I didn't open it, open it, because it looks so good, I have to open it on camera for you guys. Um, so, <laughs> she sent me a card. It smells good, oh my goodness, this, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Saturday completely made just by this beautiful card alone. Oh my goodness. This is so gorgeous. I love this. These flowers, they kind of make me want to go to the Botanic Gardens. I'm feeling a little borderline attention deficit right now. Oh, score masks! Check it out, guys. We've got some, I've been wanting to check these out. Okay, all right, back the bus up. We've got a ceramide mask here. Tony Moly, yes! Yes, you know, I'm totally a fan of these ceramide masks. So I'm excited to see because um, my, uh, I really have been enjoying that natural moisturizing factor one. So we will have to see how Tony Moly compares. Thank you so much. It's gonna be moisturizing the way I like it. Thank you, that one looks awesome. 
And then, oh, we've got a pearl one too. Cool. Speak of the devil with the beauty dust. What would be fun is if I did these, like I did, comment below on the MediHeal mask thing if you guys enjoyed that. Did you all enjoy a similar video on, on these bad boys? In a similar vein, Tony Moly? Let me know. These guys are some Totoro socks. Check it out. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. I'm so, so stoked. Thank you so much. I have been wanting these on, on Amazon. This is awesome. I'm so happy. Look how pretty that is. Um, and then she got me the fragrance leaves. Score. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell it. Who's excited for fall? Yes! <sighs> Thank you so much. This is one of the fragrances that I really wanted and, and vacillated on and didn't end up getting, and now I've got it. <sighs> oh my God, I'm totally elated right now. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so we're on the new handheld tripod. Hi everybody, happy And it's Saturday. actually a lot better. You want to show them your new bag? Oh yeah, look what I got at Penny's. It's really cute. This really bag blossom. is totally made from recycled water bottles. Recycled water bottles? How about that? That's cool. You got that this at Penny's? Is, yeah, this is the brand. Lily Bloom. I, I like it because it. it matches your pants. It looks a little juvenile, but that's okay. No, it looks cute. All right. It kind of looks like a kindergartner's lunchbox. Well, guys, we came to uh, Chicken Kitchen, which actually you can get most of the entrees as vegan. Uh, so we got, uh, I'll just show you what I got. Basically a create your own salad with their corn, black bean salsa, garbanzo beans, uh, guacamole, and more salsa, and then my favorite, papamos. And what'd you get? Chop, chop, oh yeah, it's yellow rice, black beans, guacamole, salad, tomato, and peanut bread. But yeah, we really like coming here because I guess they have the original one is in Miami. Um, but it's kind of like Cuban food. Um, and the chicken here, before I went vegan, the chicken here is actually really good. It's a rotisserie chicken. But yeah, and the owner's really nice. He always gets me extra platanos. <laughs> Came over here to the uh, savory spice shop. Check it out. I've never been in here before. It's but you're cool the they have the smell. Yeah. Pepper. They've got all of these uh, chili peppers here. Thai chili, penguin chili, capone oh, chili. Wow. This is a little bit like the one. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. We sampled their hibiscus drink. What do you think of the it's hibiscus? Delicious. It's really good. It's hibiscus tea with uh, hibiscus flour, no sugar, and cinnamon sugar. It's good, huh? Yeah, it's really good. And they have some teas, wild white cloud world teas. Oh, coconut truffle, black tea, sparse, spicy Argentinian. Berkshire apple and fig. Ooh, I bet that's good. Caramel pumpkin spice. The autumnal blend of genuine pumpkin pieces. Sweet potato. Ooh, that sounds good. An African rooibos. Oh, I love spiced Mexican chocolate. It's so good. I can't imagine it as a tea, though. Yeah, I love the combination of cinnamon and chocolate and uh, pepper. Ooh, look, they've got salt-free seasonings here. Ooh, they're, they're a little pricey, but... Oh, I bet that's good. Carolina High Country Barbecue Rub. See? No more sun. Yeah. Put that on too, right? Portuguese fermented chili flour. It's kombucha hour. My mom's chilling there. We've got our Kavita Master Brew pineapple peach and ginger. Yeah. I'm nice. loving the new tripod. Yeah, it I makes think that's more stable. It gets more of us. It, get, it gets more in. It's easier to, to hold out, you know, than, than than the camera. Hopefully, I'm a little more steady too. Cheers. Who are you texting her? I'm just trying to copy her phone number into my contacts. Sometimes that takes a while. What? What do you you want to 
for sippage, have you had pineapple peach before? Oh, that's nice. I've got Gingy here. I love Kavita. This is kombucha. Kavita's kombucha. Ooh, ginger's good. Yeah, I had a ginger something one, a peach ginger, I think it was. Peach ginger? They're, one of the um, GT's flavors is lavender, and I saw they have it at that Randall's by you. Oh. Um, they don't have it at my Kroger, but. Well, and they didn't good. have it at that Whole Foods. Whole Foods really doesn't have much, don't you agree? Yeah, and I found it very overpriced when we were in there. It it's really is. It's just nice for a change to go in and look. And yeah. But, like, I feel as though the prices are supposed to drop precipitously now that Amazon bought them. I so. got some kind of a notification from Amazon for a discount at Whole Foods. Yeah, you should take advantage um, of that. Yeah, I guess. Now that you're going vegan. I should figure that all out. Although you can get most of the vegan food at uh By the time I figure it out, it'll already be, be Amazonian material. <laughs> Yeah, Costco's getting bought out by um, Amazon, and I wonder if Trader Joe's will get bought out. I don't know. But it's really nice out. Like, it's cool. There's not, I mean, it's it's a beautiful clear day out, but it's, there's like zero humidity. We're in this little uh, shady doodle here. But yeah, this is perfect. Here's a view of the pool here. I won't get people in. Maybe just the, just the tops of their heads. Can't complain. This is our poolside reading material. My mom's got better homes and gardens. Um, this one's pretty good. This uh, oh, good. September issue. I've already looked through it. And then finally got Oprah back in my life. I don't know, guys. I don't know what Oprah's doing on the cover of her magazines these days with these outfits. I mean, I'm no fashion expert, but what the heck is going on here? Um, it looks like she's wearing a robe over, I don't know, a dress with, what are these, uh, sneakers with high heels? Sneakers I think, with high heels? I think uh, Oprah's emulating Lady Gaga. <laughs> it's a little bit much. I, I don't know, she switched stylists. Is that, is that what a stylist is supposed to do? Make you, uh dress you. Um, you she may want to rethink who, whomever is dressing her, just a thought. I liked her traditional look, but I'm a little more conservative, I guess. I mean, I like edgy fashion, don't get me wrong, but somehow it doesn't suit, it doesn't suit Oprah's image. What do you guys think? Comment below. Well, hey guys, fun time with my mom yet again. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I just got out of the gym and um, out of the shower. Tonight I uh, is leg shaving night for me and I just wanted to uh, bring back an old friend. I really enjoy this Shakai Borage Therapy Advanced Formula fragrance-free lotion. This um, is shea butter based and it also has olive oil, safflower seed oil, and jojoba oil. Um, and I have really been enjoying this. Oh, it also has oatmeal, uh, which is soothing and anti-inflammatory, vitamin E, which is nice and moisturizing, and dimethicone, which is a fantastic emollient. Um, this is in my opinion, as far as body moisturizers go in the cruelty-free realm or the, the, the leaping bunny realm, we'll just say that, okay? Um, this one is a favorite of mine. However, you know, the shortcoming of this is that unlike the Skin Foods um, Shea Butter Moisturizer that I love and unlike the CeraVe body moisturizer that I love. Um, it doesn't have ceramides in it. Its other shortcoming is that this is a lotion and not a cream. And so this is fantastic for the summer. I'm not really you know, in the midst of winter, but we're transitioning seasons here, and you guys may be looking for a body moisturizer that will get you through winter and winter dry skin. And as far as dry skin on the body, I'm not talking about the face, okay? I'm talking about the body. This is just not going to get you anywhere this winter. And the reason is, you know, people are always jazzed and asking me about, like, if I can talk about oils as a body moisturizer. And the truth of the matter is, 
oils really aren't that fantastic of moisturizers because they have these long tails, okay, um, which allows them to be liquid at, at room temperature, right? And in being sort of long and slippery, um, they're very readily rinsed off the skin. That's why, in my opinion, uh, they make fantastic oil-based cleansers like the Hadalabo uh, facial oil that I'm using that's olive oil-based or the um, some of the cleansing balms, you know, basically dissolve into their tails are such that you can kind of break them up into a, to a fine liquid for removing dirt, oil, and makeup. But as far as sealing in moisture into the skin, oils really just don't cut it, okay? They soften some of the skin cells, but they really don't make a protective sealant on there that's going to lock moisture in. So for me, this one is fantastic for for summertime, for like getting out of the shower after a shave just to kind of soften things up, but this is not gonna cut it this winter. And so, you know, what I will rely on in the winter time always is CeraVe. Um, and I really enjoy the skin foods, uh, shea butter one as well that I mentioned because uh, like I said it, it's got shea butter in it but it also has ceramides in it so those help restore the skin barrier and they're thick and, and goop you know they're thick creams okay they're gonna make they're gonna seal in the water into the body where it's needed but um, yeah I'm interested to know though any thoughts on this since my cruelty free um, skincare products that I, I like um, review went up have any of you guys used this what were your thoughts um, I have quite a bit of it left because I don't use it that frequently I like it um, so I don't plan to purchase it anytime soon but when I run out I'm, I'm considering repurchasing it and likewise um, you know is there a ceramide containing now CeraVe as far as I can tell, it's actually cruelty free, but if you feel more comfortable with this bunny um, thing going on, I'm not dissing it. Um, CeraVe doesn't have that, okay? Um, so, uh, do any of you have a ceramide containing body cream, okay? I'm asking you that is cruelty free and that you love, okay? Because you all will ask me, will say various ones, and the key that I want you to do, a little bit of homework, is to ask yourself, is this a cream, meaning is it something thick that I can scoop out, or is it a lotion, something watery? And B, does it contain ceramides, okay? So I'm asking you to do a little bit of homework for me and read the ingredients and say, is the word ceramide on there? And is the word, um, and is it a cream, you know, something thick, um, not liquidy like this, not liquidy in a pump, but a, a, like a, something in a tub, okay? So if, if you're using something like that, comment below on what it is, and I would be interested in checking that out, because I am kind of getting in the market for some new body moisturizers now that um, I'm getting close to tapping out on the Skin Foods one, and I'm making my way through CeraVe, so winter's coming. Well, not really here in Houston, let's be honest, but I know where you are, it's coming, so... Anyways, but I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.